Welcome to the Financial Forecast chart of the day. Today we're going to look at Nike. So Nike were moving up since the minimum in 50.43. Then we see a very nice movement wave to the upside. This can, can broken in three different sequence, three different waves movements. One, two, and three. Okay, three wave sequence. And then we saw the corrective movement of the previous upside in one, two, three movement. Okay, what is important point here? We have one movement to the upside, creating new highs. This is the motor sequence, motor wave. And then we have three movement to the downside in this case, with a high probability of being the corrective sequence of the previous movement to the upside. What means that? We finalize this three wave sequence in the high probability zone. So this zone that we have here okay, is connecting these two sequence in length, time and speed, making this pair as high probability bullish sequence, incomplete bullish sequence. That means that we have one movement to the upside, one movement to the downside. The, this movement to the downside is corrective the previous one, but as this sequence is incomplete, we should be seeing another sequence, another wave to the upside to complete the high degree pattern of three waves. Okay, and complete this sequence to the upside. That's what is happening now with, with Nike. We can see a movement to the upside with a high probability of being the motor wave, motors, yeah, motor wave of a bigger sequence. We see the movement to the downside matching perfectly as a high probability corrective wave of the previous movement to the upside. And a key level now that is broken. 81.61 is uh, the key level in this case to confirm the movement to the upside. This level is already broken. So we see now Nike moving up to the next attractor. Probably we can see a corrective sequence or corrective wave of the short term wave. Okay, that is probable. We can see a corrective because we are still very close of this key level, okay? And after the corrective sequence, the break again of the level is confirming definitely that we are moving to the next, next attractor. So in this case, if we have the reversal, that doesn't mean that we are not looking for the attractor, just we are reacting against this key level. And the next movement to the upside is the one that is final, finally confirming we are in an up trend. Okay, in the, in the third wave of this sequence. And we should be looking for, in this case, 97.12 to 110.85. That means that Nike could be around the hundred dollars per share. If we continue developing this scenario, okay? If suddenly we start moving to the downside and we are close to the next level, 58.78, then the chances of seeing this to the upside reduce, okay? So that's why it's super important if when you start looking at the intraday and the short time frames that the corrective sequence match with the previous movement. Okay, so the movement to the downside is matching with the movement to the upside as motor corrective pair to increase the probability of developing a new wave to the upside. Nike broke the key level 81.61. We should be looking now for 100. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching.
until the next chart of the day.